Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, past life reading for Libra. This is going to be for your September 2022. You can apply this to any of your replacements. So we're going to take a look at what happened in your past life and how, uh, how it affects you currently in this life. And then we will see uh, what you guys need to know, what you guys need to work on and look out for. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh what else keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below all right so libra what do you have for libra here Tell me about Libra regarding their past life. What does Libra need to know regarding their past life here? We're going to pull some oracle messages and then we'll get to the tarot. We have wars and battles. Okay. I feel like when it came to this past life, you know, you guys could have been a peacemaker in wars and battles here. And perhaps in this lifetime, you guys might do something along the lines of that too trying to find peace or that you guys are trying to promote peace or something like that okay some of you guys might have been in the thick of it also you guys might be in the military right now or that you guys might be in the middle of war right now okay so let's see what else we have here i'm getting turf wars okay uh you know i feel like in the past like that could have been a thing here where you guys were in turf wars with other people or other countries, towns, whatever. Let's see. We have High Priest. Harness Mystic Power. We have Air Guardians. Shift, shift your perception. Maybe your perception is changing or that you're helping people shift their perception when it comes to wars and battles here. We have Wisdom and Angel. And then we have Air Guardian. Okay? So, you know, perhaps you know, regarding wars and battles here, you know, you might help people shift their consciousness and their perception here, or that you might heal, help them heal by harnessing, you know, perhaps mystic powers or like powers of like higher consciousness or something like that with the high priest here. Okay. Let's see what else we have here for Libra. So you guys could have you know, in this life could have grown up in like war and torn countries or something like that, okay? What do we have for Libra here when it comes to their past life? What do we have for Libra here when it comes to their past life? All right, we have the Ten of Swords and a Seven of Pentacles here. Mm, there is definitely in a past life, there was a lot of pain and suffering here. And perhaps in this life you have gone through it too. I feel like you might have gone through multiple past lives where there was war, okay? Either you were in it or that you guys were running from it or escaping it, okay? We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Seven of Swords here. Wow. If you guys were in war, you know... You might, you guys might, uh, you know, have these thoughts or, or think about, you know, I shouldn't be here, but uh, shouldn't be here right now. But I feel like, you know, regarding temperance, you might have a lot of guides and angels and ancestors protecting you. Okay, and perhaps that's why you're here, Libra. What else do we have here for Libra? We have the Five of Cups, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. You know, I feel like you guys might have physical injuries from this past life here. You know, there might have been, you know, someone here might have been impaled, okay? Someone here might have lower back pain, okay? Someone here might have chest pain or something like that, okay? Um, someone also might have, like, visions. You know, you might have visions of all this stuff, but I'm getting, like, a slit 
in the back or a slit in the throat too, okay? Now you might have been doing the slitting here or that you might have been slit, all right? Uh, Ten of Swords. I do feel like maybe some of you guys might be currently in this life, might be in the military or that you guys might work in law enforcement. The Ten of Swords, Justice, yeah. The Seven of Pentacles here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is so interesting because I feel like, you know, I feel like because of all you've been through in this current life or in the past life, I feel like these guys have a lot of empathy, a lot of compassion when it comes to, you know, these issues here. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the King of Cups, Temperance, and the Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's an energy of also bringing people together. So, you know, some of you guys could be like leaders or something like that. You know, political leaders, you know, in a past life or in this life, okay? It's like uniting people in these tough times. Trying to make love, not war. <laughs> kind of a, a cliche, but it just seems like there's an energy of doing that. The Five of Cups. We have the Emperor here. Yeah, so... I feel like, you know, maybe at some point you guys might have been like a general, army general, some like a, a, a very powerful authority figure, a leader here, okay? Something in politics, ten of wands, you have the eight of swords here. seems like in the past life you could have been imprisoned here too for the work that you did yeah and feeling like there's an energy of you know uh, trading you know trading someone let's let's get some more messages here what else do we have here for libra regarding their past life what does libra need to know would need to know what that for learn from this experience here what did i do to my deck here okay okay what else does libra need to know what else does libra need to know here when it comes to their past life what else does libra need to know when it comes to their past life All right, we have the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles and the Fool. Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, some of you guys might have been reborn into this life as a feminine here. Okay, so I feel like in in like maybe some past lives, you know, some of you guys kind of switched back and forth between masculine and feminine here. And I feel like you could be, you know, some sort of agent for change here when it comes to war. I do feel like for some of you guys, you guys, some of, some of you guys might be getting into politics here or that you guys might work in like international law or something like that or do something along the lines of international law, you know, something for, you know, human rights or something like that. Uh, Ace of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. The death card, you know, I'm feeling like someone here has a lot of power here, okay? The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You know, there's an energy of like working really hard and finding the truth here, okay? You know, I feel like someone here just has a really, 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 really big heart. And I feel like someone here just wants to help, you know? And I feel like someone just can't help it, okay? So we have the Ten of Cups here and the death card. Uh, yeah, I just feel like there's an agent. Yeah, you might be an agent for change here. You know, sort of creating harmony and peace here. Okay. Uh, you know, I feel like you're you're the, the person that might shift the collective consciousness here. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Fool. And the Five of Wands. Yeah. 
there's an energy of definitely taking the opportunity here to sort of like stop this the conflict I mean this could be conflict just not just in war but just like amongst people you know friends family random people yeah but you know I do feel like like I said I feel like you're perhaps you're able to shift people's consciousness shifts people's per perception here because when it comes to whatever you're doing here you know there's a lot of knowledge and wisdom that, that, that you've gained from a past life and you embody that uh libra okay yeah it seems like you guys are really protected by angels here okay perhaps you guys have a connection with unicorns yeah there's persecution and inquisition here you know with father here perhaps you know, maybe your father, you know, uh, or a father figure has gone through this. Maybe you guys come from a long line of people that has been in the mills here or served in law enforcement or you guys were lawyers or something like that. Okay, so um, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.